Harvard is definitely a place for independent students. It's definitely a place for people who will reach out and take the opportunities. The program at CIS allows you to do a lot of things. I really enjoy having access to almost any course of study that I could possibly think of pursuing. If I'm interested in taking a physics class, I can go and take a physics class. If I'm interested in taking a class on like religion in the Middle Ages in like Africa or something, I can go and do that. You know, I can take classes in any department. I can shadow classes at the law school or the business school. Uh, you know, there's opportunities at the med, med school. I'm taking a language class. Portuguese, it's the second language I'm studying here. Then I'm taking a course on energy technology. That's a graduate course, so there are students from the business school, from the Kennedy School, and from CES. Being able to take classes in, um, in every discipline and sort of being able to explore while still pursuing my degree in applied math, I think has been extraordinarily valuable to me. Um, and there's a flexibility you just don't get a lot of other places. This kind of freedom was a big surprise to me, especially because where I come from, you know, universities in Slovakia, they have a very set curriculum. And I came here and I was told, you know, just pick what you like. And I was like, wow, really? Can I do that? You try a lot of things which gives you an opening or a possibility. It's not a certainty, it's just a possibility. But if you collect enough of these possibilities, something really interesting is going to happen. There's really no typical student that should come to CS. They should be interested in searching for their passion and what they can do in the world. And they can do anything as a result of this education. Everything from actually being an engineer to running the stock exchange. You sort of come away with this set of problem solving skills that can be applied to a wide variety of situations and that aren't dated, that aren't, they won't become um, archaic within a couple of years. I think they have a, the engineering is, is, is different in the way that the focus is not particularly on, on learning every detail, but rather it's, it gives you the general overview and asks what can you do with it, um, how can you use it to affect other people's lives. And Harvard Engineering has that, that capability to provide you with the outside the box experience. It makes us excellent engineers in that we can impact the world. So coming to Harvard does give you a view of the entire world, uh, all of the disciplines, how other people and other cultures think. And that's actually critically important, even for someone who's going into a technology field. Well, I think that's the beauty. There's, there's no right, one right way to look at the world. And so by talking to people who view things through literature, or psychology, or neurobiology, or math, um, you understand that every way you look at the world and everything you think it's one lens, and there's other perspectives out there. Whether it's C's or gen ed classes or your distribution requirements or whatever it is, all the different parts of it prepare you for the real world. And I found valuable things, not just from what I did in C's, but really from lots of different parts of my Harvard experience. And I think that's something that makes Harvard unique and makes C's unique within Harvard. <laughs>